Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And shit, for all you Evil Dead fans out there, there's a new Evil Dead game coming out called Evil Dead The Game. It's a third-person shooter, and it's coming out next year. So it says here, get your boomstick ready. Bruce is back, baby. Which is a good thing. So, let me go ahead and... um Hit the trailer for you. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Here we go. I had a real life once. I had a wonderful girlfriend, Linda. Together we drove to a small cabin in the mountains. Necronomicon Ex Mortis, the book of the dead. It seems an archaeologist had come to this remote place to translate and study his latest find. It was never meant for the world of the living. The book awoke something dark in the woods. It took Linda. And then it came... for me. Tell you what, man, that trailer, boy, the team that they have behind this, that thing looks so good, the gameplay, can't really say anything about the mechanics, because, you know, only you'll know when you play, but from everything that I've seen, the game looks awesome. I'm definitely going to get this game. Hands down, no doubt about it. I am getting this game. Plus, looks like another installment of the Evil Dead franchise now that Ashton, you know, versus the Evil Dead is not around. So, anything that's uh, greenlit by Bruce Campbell is good with me. And what it says here is, Ash and his faithful shotgun are back in the first Evil Dead video game since 2005's Evil Dead Regeneration. Saber Interactive, the developers behind World War Z, are making the new Evil Dead game which looks like a third-person shooter with a similar co-op survival setup. In the trailer above, you can see Ash and an unusual cast gathered together at the cabin from the first Evil Dead films, while Bruce Campbell's voiceover summarizes the plot of the original movie that's not quite what's going on action-wise here. One of the characters is a knight reminiscent of the Army of Darkness. Well, y'all, you know, I'm a Evil Dead fan. And from the Army of Darkness, that's Lord Arthur from the Army of Darkness, played by actor Marcus Gilbert. So that's one of the that's the knight in the shining armor. And he says, while the other two are regular looking folks who I don't recognize. The other two, there's a guy and a girl. The female, that's Kelly Maxwell. She's from Ash vs. the Evil Dead, played by actress Dana Lorenzo. And the gentleman that was with him is um, is Ash's friend Scott from the first Evil Dead movie from 1981. The first original movie, that's Scott. That's his homeboy that was with him because it was uh, him and all, you know, his sister and his friends. They were all in the cabin and his girlfriend and Scott was the only dude that was there. So there was five people in the cabin. It was... You know, Ash, Scott, Ash's girlfriend, Scott's girlfriend, and Ash's sister in the first original movie from 1981. So that is Scott played by Richard Demanicor. And that's who that is. So what it is is for this game, they took a character from each different Evil Dead movie or, you know, or, or, or a movie that was connected to Ash specifically, because we don't see anybody from the Evil Dead reboot. What we see are people that were connected to Ash while he made his journey in the Evil Dead world. So that's what that's who these people are. And that's what we got. And that's what makes it more interesting because these are people we're all familiar with. 
If you're an Evil Dead fan, then you know exactly who these people are. And boom, that's what we got. They put them together to do, uh, looks like a, a four-person co-op. Man, everybody probably has a certain set of skills, you know, that helps the team. And dude, it's it's a hell of a it was a, it's a hell of an idea, and is I'm very interested. And like I said, they already got me sold. When the pre-orders hit, I'm definitely gonna be there. So that's what's up. Regardless, the few seconds of gameplay we can see above seems to put this firmly in zombie killing co-op shooter territory, which seems like an okay if not inspired fit for Evil Dead. A press release for the game adds that there will be both co-op and PvP in Evil Dead the game. Okay, sounds good. Work together as a team of four survivors exploring, looting, crafting, managing your fear, and finding key artifacts to seal the breach between worlds or take control of the powerful Kandarian demon to hunt Ash and his friends while possessing deadites the, the environment and even the survivors themselves as you seek to swallow their souls. Wow, so you can you can play as the four characters or you can play as the, the villain, the bad guys. Okay, that, that puts a whole that puts a whole different uh, spin on it because you know along with you taking control of the four characters, it allows you to play from the flip side of things. Very interesting. Plenty of surprises await in this gore-filled battle against evil that captures the characters, horror, humor, and action from the franchise. Battle across memorable locations, including the infamous cabin in the woods, brought to life with tons of terrifying visuals and all-new dialogue from Bruce Campbell. Discover more than 25 weapons, including Ash's gauntlet, broomstick, and chainsaw, and advance in a variety of skill trees to grow stronger and survive in this fun co-op and pvp experience but there you go and there you have it let me see is there anything else nah that's it so like i say this looks like it's going to be a very promising game the graphics look amazing you know they look amazing i, I would definitely put my money into this so i'm sold on it y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below are you excited to see this you know, do you even want to play an Evil Dead game? I don't know. Y'all let me know. Me, myself, I would love to play this. I think this is an awesome concept that you got, you know, all these different aspects of uh, of Ash's uh, movie and, you know, TV career all kind of put together in one on, um, you know, going on a fucking mission. I mean, yeah, it's promising. I, I, like the, I like the idea and the concept. I'd want to go and play it. I want to see this one through. So... When, when next year it hits and this game comes out, I'm definitely going to get it. And I'll definitely be reviewing it. So you can you can quote me on that. But like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Please share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, 24-7 with 24-7 Fusion Media. And I'm out. Peace.